Good day, everyone. So today I would like to share uh, uh, the salt chapter, which is chapter 8 of Form 4 Chemistry with you all. And let's go through briefly on what is the whole chapter about. Okay, look at the mind mapping of the whole chapter of uh, chapter 8, salt. First, we need to know about the definition. Okay, so the definition of salt is, uh, is important because this will lead to our uh, uh, deeper understanding on how to form the chemical equation and also until the, uh, the preparation of salt and so on. So after we know about the definition, there is another subtopic on <clears throat> the construction of chemical equation that involves the ionic equation and the chemical equation. So from there, we will need to understand on the stoichiometric calculations in, involving uh, salt formation from this chapter. Then we will go on to the solubility of salt, of different salts, and also the preparation of the salt based on its solubility, whether it is a preparation of soluble salt or a preparation of insoluble salt. So definitely, after preparation of salt, we need to do purification on the salt prepared. And the last part will be on the qualitative analysis of salt. So this part will always, uh, this part will always be the most difficult part or the most confusing part for students, mainly because it, it involves a lot of different tests. It is not as difficult, actually, if you can go through the different tests in details, you, you will be able to understand how the qualitative analysis of salt work out. So first, you have to master the inference of the salts provided. That will be from the color of the salt, the solubility, and also the gas test, if any of the gas evolves. And after that, you have to move on to the heat. The effect of heat on different salts, and then the cations and anions involved. The different tests on the cations and also different tests involved for the four anions the chloride, the nitrate, the sulfate, and the carbonate anions. <clears throat> so we first go on with the definition first. So today I will actually want to uh, share with you on the preparation of salt. That's why we have to go through the definition to understand further on what is salt about. A salt is produced when an acid reacts with a base. That is, when the hydrogen ion of the acid is replaced with a metal ion or ammonium ion, then a salt is produced. So look at this equation. When we have NaOH, which is uh, sodium hydroxide, reacting with HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, we will obtain NaCl, which is sodium chloride, and H2O, which is water. So how to... How to Understand further from this equation on the salt formation. First, you have to. Sorry. So, first, you have to understand how to look at this type of equation. So, from this equation, identify each and every cations and anions of them, which is 1. Two, three, and four. Looking at the reactants, we have sodium ion, hydroxide ion, hydrogen ion, and also the chloride ion. So there, these are the four ions formation from the reaction. And look at the definition again. A salt is produced when an acid reacts with a base, that is, when a hydrogen ion of the acid. Hydrogen ion of the acid is replaced with a metal ion or ammonium ion. So, by looking into these two reactants, we know that hydrogen ion from an acid is this hydrogen ion. So, <clears throat> when we double check, when you double check with the products, the, the chloride ion appear here. Well, 
sodium ion has gone into the place and replaced the hydrogen ion. Okay, so that means the hydrogen ion of the acid is replaced with a metal ion. Therefore, the sodium, sodium chloride over here is the salt formation and the water is the side product. I give you another example on the ammonium ion. Okay, so by looking at this equation, you will see that the ammonium hydroxide is reacting with nitric acid. So by looking into these reactants, identify the acid, the hydrogen ion from the acid. So while this is a hydrogen ion from the acid, and this is the anion of the acid, then the anion of the acid will remain. And the hydrogen ion of the acid has been replaced with either a metal ion or ammonium ion. So in this case, the ammonium ion is the is a cation replacing the hydrogen ion. And the side product over here will be H2O again. So this is the salt formation. Okay, so I, I hope you understand now on how to construct a chemical equation from the, from the uh, uh, reactants provided by looking into the definition. First, identify the acid. Acid is something that provides hydrogen ion. Then, when you have identified the acid, the hydrogen ion from the acid will be replaced by either a metal ion or an ammonium ion. Then the, fo the formation of the product is the salt. Now we go on to look into the preparation of salt. And first thing first, we have to understand on the solubility of a salt. Okay, so look at the solubility of salt. Usually for the salt chapter, it, it will be easier to master if we divide the salts into several major groups according to the cation, uh, sorry, according to the anions. So we have the first group, which is nitrate, the second group, which is sulfate, the third group is chloride, then we have hydroxide group, we have carbonate and also ammonium. So by looking into these six uh, major groups of salts, the nitrate salt is the easiest one to remember because nitrate salts are all soluble. So this will include any nitrate salts that, that you can uh, that comes to it comes to your mind. For example, sodium nitrate, copper, two nitrate, zinc, two nitrate etc. So all these different salts of different metal ions, although the metal ions are different, as long as the nitrate parts, the nitrate, as long as the nitrate appears as the anion, these are called all the nitrate salts. So they are all soluble. For the second, for the second group, sulfate salts, all salt, sulfate salts are soluble except barium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and lead 2 sulfate. These type of sulfates are insoluble salts and they are grouped under insoluble salts. So when students, when you go through the solubility of salts, you have to remember all the special case like this. So remember that all sulfates are soluble except the three candidates over here. That means, for example, if you are given with zinc sulfate or you are given with magnesium sulfate, look at the 
cations and anions. If the anion is sulfate, while the cation is different. So by looking at the anion which is sulfate, then memorize from the solubility chart that all sulfates are soluble except barium sulfate, calcium sulfate and lead to sulfate. Therefore, check the cation. If the cation is not among one of the three candidates, then this sulfate salt is soluble. For example, magnesium sulfate. If the magnesium is not among one of the three over here, then magnesium sulfate is soluble. Although magnesium comes from group 2, and barium and calcium ions also come from group 2. The same goes to the rest. For the third group, chloride. All chloride salts are soluble except the three candidates over here. So check the group, uh, anion group. Silver chloride, lead 2 chloride, mercury 2 chloride. So they are all chloride salts. And these are the candidates which are insoluble. Silver chloride, lead 2 chloride, mercury 2 chloride. Therefore, the rest of the chlorides such as Magnesium chloride, potassium chloride, um, zinc chloride, they are all soluble. Next, we go to the hydroxide ion, hydroxide anions. For the hydroxide anion, all the hydroxide salts are not soluble. Okay? So if they are not soluble, definitely there are some exceptional cases. So except potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide. So these three candidates, they are soluble. For carbonate, all carbonate salts are not soluble as well. The same case go to hydroxide and carbonate, except sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, and ammonium carbonate. While for the last group, the ammonium salts, all, solu all are soluble. That means any salts that you find that it is, it, it is grouped under ammonium salts, they are all soluble. For example, we have ammonium sulfate. We have ammonium nitrate and so on. As long as you find that the cation, cation of the, the salt is ammonium, then it is soluble. Okay, so with this, we finish the solubility chart of the salt and we, you, you are now understand that as long as we identify the anions, we just follow the solubility chart and you can find out which salts are soluble and which salts are not soluble. So from here, you will see that there, there is actually a trend starting from group hydro hydroxide salts to carbonate salt to ammonium salt that all the potassium salts are soluble, all the sodium salts are soluble, and all the ammonium salts are soluble. So from here, we can make another, another remark. We can make another remark that all group 1 salts are soluble. because group 1 salts involving potassium, sodium, lithium, and so on, whatever, uh, whatever, salt, whatever anion salts involving group 1 elements, they will be soluble as well. So this solubility chart is very important for us to justify on the preparation of salts that we will discuss later.